Hello squad and welcome to LFC Transfer Talk. Now some reports have come out in the world of local football club linking goes with the move for a highly rated youngster in the summer 2020 transfer window and that is Talis Magno Bacla Martins who plays for Vasco da Gama over in the Serie A which is the Brazilian league. Now he's 17 years old, he stands rough around 6 foot 1, he's left footed, can play multiple different positions, mainly plays down the middle in the number 9 position as a centre forward but does have the capabilities of playing other positions such as left and right of the front three perfectly well and then also in the number 10 position as an attacking midfielder. His valuation on transfer market is roughly £4 million and his contract length is up until 2021. Now I'm sure many local football club fans, Reds all across the club, may not have heard about someone like Italis Magno. However, according to this actual report, he's one individual that we have kept an eye on for quite some time. Under 17s, he was one of the standout players at the actual World Cup for Brazil. But on top of all of that, he's a player that we are looking at as a long-term replacement for 009. That is Roberto Firmino because of his similar qualities when it comes to a footballing point of view. Because he's you know one of those dynamic individuals down the actual middle, full of energy, can play multiple positions, close ball control, vision, link-up play. So I think from a local football club point of view, I think this is going to be one of those that it would be pretty exciting if we can tie him to a local football club contract. Which according to this actual report, he has a reported 43 million pounds sort of release clause but the football club in Vasco da Gama would be willing to accept half the amount so roughly around 21 million pounds which I think if we are able to beat off all the other goddamn playing football clubs who are actually after his services like a Benfica and the list goes on kind of thing like a Real or whoever else would be in for him if we can I think that would be good but I think what we have to do with him is be very intelligent because we do not want to stunt his actual development because if let's say hypothetically right we poach him we beat everyone and we sign him to a local football club contract now he comes and he's in our U23 and he's going to be developing and lord knows what the hell that's going to do to his development right and he might get limited you know playing time he might be playing at a different type of level he we might end up stunting his development to the point of where he just loses interest because he's playing at a different type of a frequency so what i would prefer is that if we do sign him i would rather we transition him to a league where i think it will sue him but i think at the same time it will be similar to his old culture like a benfica because benfica after him, we beat them right we're like he can have him our lord for like three seasons right that way He's not going to get juked into the actual deep end, like coming to the English Premier League and then lose his interest because he's not progressive or he's not progressing because he's not getting the opportunities into the first level and the first team set up and the list goes on kind of thing. So that way, he goes over to Benfica, he develops for like three seasons. Let's say, for example, he ends up being a bit of a scrub, right? I mean, if that happens, then what we can ultimately do is we can sell him to like a Benfica, but put a buyback clause in there, right? Meaning that if let's say hypothetically, because we've released the actual, you know, the, the shackles or whatever the hell you want to call it, but he starts knuckling down because he, real, he maybe realized okay you know what I was playing for the baddest more different team on planet earth hold on a second I gotta start producing the goods and because of that the pressure's off and he's just a little bit more relaxed and comfortable starts battering teams right and starts dismantling world football and we have the buyback clause we can go back in frame so I think for me that would be the direction I would go let someone like a Benfica do the job that way when he goes over there similar culture to like a Brazil right he'll settle in a little bit better he's still relatively young like 17 years old so that way three years by the time he maybe be matures as a footballer and as a person hopefully learns English and in contact with local football club every summer maybe in pre-season flies over or before on his time off or whatever right and we get to you know experience one another or have a conversation or whatever the hell you want to call it right and you know has a conversation with double or nine and you know freaking out some back five or whatever the Brazilian connection everything is on a different type of level and then eventually like I said when the timing is right you bring him to local football club and then you you use him as a player that is going to hit the ground running and then eventually will be that understudy to like a double or nine because at the moment if you logically think about it when we're talking about stunt of growth is going to be behind a whole host of players. 009 himself, right? Roboto Firmino. Then we talk about the gangster inside Jumani. Then we talk about the Egyptian king in Mohammed Salah. Then you talk about Takumi Minimino, aka Kakai. Then you talk about Deva Goddamn Blin Rigi, right? Lord knows what the hell's going to happen with him. He's going to stick around in the summer 2020 transfer like a bad smell, or we're going to finally get rid of him. Then we're talking about Rian Brewster, who's on loan at Swansea in this current campaign 1920, but he's going to be coming back. He's going to be figuring, right? And then we talk about Timo Mo, the effing Goddamn Blin Warner from RB Leipzig, who's going to become a local football club player in the summer 2020 transfer though we're talking about seven players people right he's gonna be behind all of that and then you got the youngsters already at the football club like a Paul Gratzel and whoever the hell is the actual under 23 setup right and they're looking and they're dreaming for the same opportunity and all of a sudden this you know wonder kid's gonna come from Brazil and be like you know what you're top like that's not gonna be a good morale booster right it's not gonna be good for that synergy so for me 
You just loan him out, let him loan for three seasons over at Benfica, let them do the dirty work, I mean, not dirty work, but let him develop over there. And then once he becomes the type of player that we know he's going to become, when the timing is right, you bring him back to local, you bring him to local football club, excuse me, not back, but you bring him to local football club and then you start utilising him as an understudy and then eventually, you know, sort of like wind down the double or nine games or you give him a little bit more of a rest and he can see and he can, you know, he can learn from double or nine if he's going to be the long-term investment. That's what I, I would state. So we shall see what the hell would actually happen. But I think if he is that type of individual that we are 100% confident on, then I would go for him, but I would loan him. That's what I would do. I wouldn't bring him to local football club in immediately chuck him into the deep end that's gonna it's not gonna motivate him he might not develop the same and that kind of stuff because i'm not the biggest fan of our actual youth system i will do our youth system right there in a goddamn and happy i will develop like world-class superstars i know i can because i understand football however i think if you let him go to benfica where you'll get into the first team you'll play regular football it'll be a comfortable environment for him similar to what he's already used to learns English, eventually have the ambition of I'm going to play in the English Premier League, I'm going to play in, in, in a different competitive league and he's already, you know, owned by a local football club. Right? I think it will appeal to him and it will also appeal to a local football club. Hopefully, that's not going to, you know, sort of hinder his actual progress, right, in, in terms of his development, knowing that our local football club are, are his actual owners, right, of, you know, he's a, a part of local football club contractually and all that kind of stuff. So I think from a, a Liverpool point of view, it would be a good piece of business if you can, you know, acquire his actual services, but we shall see what the hell will happen. There's always a lot of links and rumours flying around, you know, the, as we're fast approaching the summer 2020 transfer and linking us with the next big thing and this and that kind of stuff. So we'll see whether we can get hold of him or maybe this is just one that may pass us by. So that wraps up LFC transfer talk. Click on the like button below, subscribe to the channel and thanks very much for watching. Oh,